This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. In case you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can buy this template from the link in the description. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I'm calling it Glitch Logo Intro. As always, I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 30 frames per second, and my duration is 10 seconds longer. The first step is to import your logo into your project, open the scale, and adjust the scale of it. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I'm calling it logo comp. Select move all attributes into the new composition, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the Vegas. Place it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, Change the blend mode to transparent, and then open image contours. Here, change the channels to alpha. It will use the transparent value of your logo, to show the outline around the edges. If you don't have any transparent logo, then you can select the intensity. Now change the segment value to 1, and then the length value to 0.2. We will animate this stroke later. Let's scroll down to the bottom, and change the midpoint opacity value to 1. And change the color to the same as the logo. You are free to use any color you want. Let's animate the stroke now. Go to around 15 frames position, and add a keyframe on the length. Then go to the first keyframe position, and change the length value to 0. It will have this basic stroke animation. Now go to the first frame, and add a keyframe on the rotation. Then go to around 5 second position, and change the first rotation value to 1. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. If you want the duration of the logo animation about 6 seconds, make sure to place the end keyframe on the 6 seconds. Now check this random face and the stroke will appear randomly. You can also play with the random seed value to get a different look. Perfect. Now select this logo comp, and make a duplicate of it. I'm going to use a different color for the stroke. Right now both strokes are showing on top of each other, so go to the first frame, and change the rotation value to a different one. Let's keep the value at 70 degrees, and this is how the stroke will look now. Much better. Let's add some glitches now. Create a new adjustment layer, and call it a glitch. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the VR digital glitch. Place it on the layer, and it will add this nice looking glitch to the layer. But we don't need this glitch to show all the time, so I'm going to keep a small portion of the layer, by splitting it into a small part. Use the Ctrl, or Command Shift D on your keyboard, to split the layer, and delete the long portion. As you can see here, I have only a few frame glitches. You can adjust the duration according to your requirement. Now select both logo comps, and then split them by using the Ctrl, or Command plus Shift on your keyboard. Place them on top, so that we can arrange the project nicely. Now select the bottom layer, and let's minimize the Vegas to get some room. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the turbulent displace, place it onto the layer. Let's go to the position where I can see this stroke. Now change the size value to 10, and the amount value to around 100. It will make the stroke electric. You can go with the higher setting if you want, I think I'm going with this one. Now select both layers, and split them. Delete the selected part, select the top layer, 
and make another duplicate of it. I'm going to place it right here, and also increasing the duration of it. Now hide this Vegas effect from it. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the Venetian blinds. Place it onto the layer, and then change the transition completion value to around 11 for now, and the direction value to 90 degrees. Let's keep the transition completion value to 55%, and the width value to 7. It will have this nice looking effect. Again, go to the effects and the preset, and search for the tint. Apply it onto the layer. And it will remove the colors from this logo layer. Make another duplicate of it, and turn on the Vegas effect. I am going to hide this Venetian blinds, as well as the tint. Let's minimize all effects to get some room, and then change the Vegas width value to around 3. It will create this outline around the edges of the logo. Let's select both layers, and make it a bit shorter by dragging from the edge. Now select the top layer, and make another duplicate of it. We are randomly creating some different looks by using a different effect, and it will create a glitch effect. Now minimize all effects, then search for the CC ball action, and place it onto the layer. I'm going to hide this Vegas effect as well. Now change the ball size to 50, and then scale this layer to make it bigger than the rest of the layers. I am keeping the scale value of 150%. Let's select these layers, and scale their size as well. I'm randomly increasing the scale values to get a different look. Now we need to turn on this Collapse Transform option, so that the details will remain the same while scaling. So click here to activate it. Also activate it for this layer as well. In case this Switch tab is not available for you, you can right click here, Go to the columns, and choose Switches. Let's adjust the timing, and then make another duplicate of it. Place it right here, then again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the VR digital glitch. Place it onto the layer, and then hide all of the effects. You can also delete the effects which you are not using, and this is how it looks now. Let's change the scale value of it, so that it won't look similar to the previous one. I am keeping the scale value of 100%. Not bad. You can also adjust the duration of the layers. So that it will stay only for a few frames. Now make one more duplicate of it, and place it right here. Again, go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the mosaic. Place it onto the layer, and then turn off the VR digital glitch. I'm changing the horizontal blocks to 250, as well as the vertical blocks to 250. Click on this sharp color option, and this is how the logo will look now. You can zoom into your timeline for working on small details. Nice, check the animation, and see if you like it. I think I need to change the starting duration of the logo, so select all the top layers, and then place them to the left, so that the first layer should appear only for the half second. Perfect. This is looking much better. Let's move to the next step. Select the top layer, and make one more duplicate of it. Place it to the right. Let's increase the length of it and then delete all the effects from it. Again go to the effects and the presets, and apply gradient wipe on it. The gradient wipe needs a map layer for working properly, so let's do it. Create a new solid layer, and call it map. Hit OK, and then apply fractal noise on it.
Let's change the fractal type to smeary, and then choose the noise type to block. Also, click on the invert, and this is how it will look. Now change the contrast value to 180. Again search for the find edges, and place it on this layer. Check this invert option, and it will create this block pattern. Now pre-compose this map, and call it map. Select move all attributes into the new composition, and then hit OK. Now we don't need to actually see this layer, so I'm going to hide it. Now select this logo layer, and then change the gradient layer to the map. If you change the transition value, it will show this kind of effect. Not bad. Let's animate now. Go to around a few frames backward, a few frames at the starting point of the layer, and then add a keyframe on the transition completion. Then go to the end frame position, and change the completion value to 25%. Now press U to reveal all keyframes. I think I need to reverse these keyframes value, so select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select time reverse keyframes. It will reverse the keyframe values. Let's go to the end keyframe, and change the completion value to 23%. And for the first keyframe, I'm going to keep the value of 75%, and this is how it looks now. This is getting better and better. Now make one more duplicate, and place it right here. In this layer, first, delete the gradient wipe, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the card wipe. Place it onto the layer, and first, change the row value to 50, as well as the column value to 50. Now change the transition completion value, so that you can see how it is going to react. Let's change the flip axis to random, and flip direction to random as well. Also, change the flip order from the right to the left. Now go to the starting position of this layer, and change the completion value to 50%. Also, increase the transition width value to 100%, so that the logo will disappear. Now add a keyframe on the transition completion. Let's keep the value 60%, then go to the last frame position, and change the completion value to 100%. Press U to reveal all keyframes, select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Let's place this top layer in this position, so that it will overlap the bottom layer. This looks much better. Now, this is going to be the logo reveal layer, so I'm going to extend its duration. It will stay around 7 seconds on the screen. Perfect. Now minimize all layers by pressing M on your keyboard, then select all layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it logo animation. And then hit OK. Now select this pre-compose, and make a duplicate of it. Select the bottom layer, and call it the logo reflection floor. Make it 3D by clicking on this icon, then open rotation, and change the X rotation value to 90 degrees. Now place this layer in this position. If required, you can adjust the position by using the shift, plus up and down arrow key on your keyboard. Let's change the rotation angle to 100 degrees, and this is how it looks now. Select this layer once again, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the compound blur. Place it onto the layer, and we need a texture for it to work as the floor reflection. So create a new solid layer, and call it floor. Use any color you want, and then hit OK. Again go to the effects and the preset, and search for the fractal noise. Place it onto the layer, and change the brightness value to negative 30, and contrast to 150. Place it on the bottom of all layers, and then hide it because we don't need to see it. 
Now select the logo reflection floor layer, and change the blur layer to the floor, and make sure to select the effect and mask. Now increase the maximum blur value to 250, and this is how the reflection will look now. This is looking much better. Let's add more animation to it. Create a new adjustment layer, and call it CC. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC lens. Place it onto the layer, and change the size value to 100. Then go to the first frame, and add a keyframe on the size. Then go to around 5 second position, and change the size value to a higher number, so that the logo will appear normally. And this is how the logo will look now. Let's add some texture to the background. Minimize all layers, then open this logo composition. Here open this map, then select this map layer and copy it. Switch back to the main timeline, and paste this layer right here. Now we need to add some animation to this layer, so go to the first frame position, and add a keyframe on the evolution. Then go to around 6 seconds duration, and change the first evolution value to 1. It will have these rotations to the texture. Now press T to open opacity, and change the opacity value to 5. Let's keep the value at 10%, and this is how the background will look now. Let's change the blend mode to the screen, and then place it right below the reflection floor layer. Create one more solid layer, and call it background. Use any color you want, and then hit OK. Let's place it at the bottom of all layers, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the gradient ramp. Place it onto the layer, grab these ramp points, and place them like this. Let's change the start color to a different one. I'm going to keep this dark blue color, for the end ramp, I'm using this one. Let's keep this color so that we can focus on the design more. Now select this map, and then apply a tint effect to it. I'm going to change the tint color to this blue one, so that it will look better with the design. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Now select this CC layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow. Place it onto the layer, and then change the glow radius value to 300, as well as change the glow threshold value to 90%. And this is looking much better. Check the animation, and see if you like it. I think I need to adjust the size of this part, so that it will look more dynamic. Open this logo animation comp, then select this layer, and increase the size of it. It is looking much better. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download after effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.